like we're, uh, do I look like I'm on his football team? Uh, not quite. Yeah. Strong And both guys just write down some please. Thank you. And one more time. I'm right over here if you guys don't mind. Well, it's really about Savile Row meets Ivy League. It's about uh, British tailoring, inspired by Tommy Nutter, who was really the tailor of the stars in the 60s and 70s when he was making clothes for the Beatles, the Stones, David Bowie, Brian Ferry, and uh, the, the suitings were irreverent. He mixed a lot of checks and a lot of plaids, and they were very graphic, and they were outspoken. We've tailored them down to make them relevant for today, but we have a lot of innovation in fabrics, a lot of mixing of fabrics, and the idea is that we never move away from Preppy or Ivy League, so it's what we add to it and how we complement it and, and blend it with something else. So the something else this season is really Savile Row and Sartorial. This collection is definitely more tailored. It is definitely more thought out in terms of fabrication mix. It is thought out in terms of innovation of fabric where we bond Macintosh with wool and we use pony skin and we're printing on pony skin, we're printing on leather and we're doing a lot of different uh, treatments on, on leather like perforation and argyle. So I think that it's innovative, it's fresh, it's new, it's graphic and it's uh, very, I would say, sartorial, you know, which is tailoring at its best. Met him yesterday, and um, you know he was such a great guy, such a cool person to meet. And um, I mean, you've been seeing his clothes since I've been, you know, a couple years old. So it's pretty cool to finally meet the guy. A lot of opportunities come up when uh, you win a big game like that. So, like I said, I thought it'd be a lot of fun for the wife, and it's been great to meet all these people and see all the cool clothes. When we were in high school and uh, middle school, it was so big. So, like, uh, you know, we've been seeing his clothes for so long, and so it's kind of cool to, like I said, meet him and see all of the things that go on behind the scenes. I think Joe Flacco is an all-American guy, and uh, he's very big, big shoulders. We fit him well, and we're very proud and honored to have him wearing the clothes. I like to dress up. I like to represent my mom well, so uh, Tommy helps me do that. So I mean, I'm definitely into it. At first, it was a stigma, you know, that you know athletes in fashion didn't mix. Now it's you know they go hand in hand and they kind of influence each other. Um, it's huge. Guys want to look nice. They want to present themselves in a way that um, people respect them. And I, th I think that's what it's come to. I always like Tommy's stuff, and uh, he's way ahead of the game. And uh, I'm wearing a beautiful peacoat that the Hilfiger line just made, well, for, this, for the winter season. He has a special flair knowing how to bring out certain genres and eras of fashion that uh, reflect the times. You know, everything is uh, relative to time. So, you know, he'll put out something that's very 60s, that's beautiful, very 80s, and contemporary now. You know, but he does it a step ahead of everyone else.
When you have the attitude of, of really just uh, pushing the envelope and being relaxed with it and having fun at the same time, um, it really gives, especially recently with Tommy's opinion recently, it really gives it a fresh feel. All 13. Okay. Right over the voice. Uh, right ahead. Okay, guys. Put your arms up. <laughs> My favorite pieces are the pieces that are the most graphic. I love the houndstooth checks, I love the Prince of Wales, I love the mixing of the checks, and I also love all the shearlings. It was pretty cool to see that actually. Um, uh, a lot of fun. It was a lot quicker than I thought it would would be. Um, people were telling me it was quick, but I, didn't, I wasn't sure if I believed them. But it was pretty cool. I liked a lot of the overcoats. When people walk away from the show tonight, I hope they like it. I hope they're happy and uh, I hope they realize we put a lot of time and effort into it and we've evolved the brand yet again.